Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Hey, old Vinny's here. Wow, it's been a week since you've been back. They're surprised. I don't think they're that surprised. I, I think mean, they're I surprised. know I was out a week. I think they're surprised you made it. I'm here. Is everybody happy to see you? Did anybody see my Instagram story <laughs> where Vince and his friend Terry were practicing turkey calling last night and the only turkey they caught up was Thomas? <laughs> Did you see this Instagram well, story? So Jordan's in here because he's always checking to make sure levels are right and stuff, but it was so funny because... Um, to give me credit, I was in the parking lot of a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> it wasn't like I was in the woods trying to call one up. I was actually in the parking lot. At Three Amigos. You owe it to yourself to watch the Instagram stories. You guys, too, go watch Instagram stories. I think I'm going to... Somebody told me this. Mute that, because I think your computer's making noise. Um, somebody told me I need to do this. They said that I need to do some highlights for each of the kids and, like, the grandbaby. And, like, every time... Because, like, Joe did that Australian accent the other day, and everybody's wanting to watch it again, but it's gone. So they're like, you need to put... Every kid needs to have a highlight. And that's a pretty good idea. I think I'll do that because they're so funny. And that can so be Thomas. So for Thomas, it's going to be strutting around like a turkey. Yeah, the one that got away. <laughs> the one that got away. How is everyone? Uh-oh, no one answered me. <laughs> I was waiting on an answer. I forget how to do lives. Every week, I forget how. Jordan knows it. Every week, I come in and go, "What? how do I do this? <laughs> And he gets his hands in his hair. And he and begins does. to pull and twist. That's why he has no hair left. Y'all thought he got a haircut. He just ripped it all out. Okay, here's the truth. We're going to do this today. The, every month, you guys remember last, let's see, in, I think I did this video in January. And I promised you guys that every month I would do my monthly photo for my calendar. So at the end of the year, we have an album. We did January. And I waited on February on purpose because I wanted to do the cruise here. Now, here's the interesting thing. I chose Love Paper when I set this album up. If I were doing this in hindsight, I think I would not. I don't know how I would do it because, I, you know, I forgot about the cruise coming and I really want to do the cruise. But when I show you what I'm going to do, it still works. But if you want to wait to put your decorative paper on, maybe put this on with um, repositionable. Ooh, that word in me. Repositionable. There we go, right? Well, tape. you just have to take a breath in the middle somewhere. You have to breathe every now and then, Meme. So, um, and then you could peel this off and change it. But here, let me show y'all. This is really cute. So we're going to do February. And our Crafty Cruise was in February. That was my biggest event for there. And so I have printed off some pictures. I printed off two in two different sizes because I'm not really sure which one I want to use yet. So let me uh, trim these out and we'll see which one I want to use. So... What's going on today? Lori says she's ready to hear a good story. So a I'm story? sure I'm sure one will pop up. <laughs> one usually comes out when we have a conversation. So Do we have any good stories this week? We got oh, yes. Ju Judy says hi everybody from Green, Savannah, Georgia. Oh because of the pollen, y'all. My truck is camouflaged. It's so did y'all see my pollen Instagram? It's Pick black it and green. It's bad. It's bad around here. Can't already. see much of the black. I say already. I mean, we've had so much rain, it's probably a little slower getting to us than it has been. Um, speaking of rain, we're supposed to get a lot this afternoon. We are. We might get some storms, so we'll see. By the way, I always get asked this question. What photo paper do I use? Because I print this on my regular um, printer, and this is just some matte finished photo paper that I get from office, uh, not office, but from Amazon. I don't go anywhere. I have it shipped to me. <laughs> And this is just regular old matte finished photo paper. And so I print these guys out. This is our entire crew from the cruise. Not everybody. The husbands. Not all the husbands were in this picture. Some were. Some were taking the pictures. And they were so sweet. And we got into the hallway on the cruise ship. And um, this was like a, not a vestibule, but it was it was overlooking a bar, actually. Like they had a little bar down right. underneath here. Right. But this was really pretty how this circle went. And I was like, you know what? If we could get everybody around that circle. There's nobody behind the lights you can see vince here me there we we went on either side of the light and then we've got lisa and brenda and oh gosh this is tiny oh that's sue and there's amanda and there's edith and there's wit and then we come around and i won't even try because i won't be able to get everybody by looking but that's our crew right there isn't that awesome there's melinda i can tell you that and there's marion and god love marion she was melinda, talking to somebody back here and we snapped it just as she was looking away speaking of melinda so, she wants to know if we can sing happy birthday to her sister sandra who is watching today. 
I don't think I can sing it because it has a copyright on it. And people tell me all the time, you'll get a copyright strike if you sing it. We can say it in a very fun way. Or we can say it like they do at a restaurant. Like, we can do, <laughs> happy, happy birthday. It's your day or something like. But everybody, really some people say, came. some people happy, tell me that the song is public the, domain. Gang. Yeah, that's it. Do it. I did it. Happy, happy birthday. We're so glad you came. Sing happy, it with happy me. birthday from, from the, the May May, May Gang. Gang. That's Ta-da. our birthday song right there. That's what we can do. So happy birthday, Susan. I mean, Sandra. Sorry. Thank you. Some people glad tell me, today. some people tell me, don't worry, the happy birthday song is public domain, but a lot of people tell me it's not. So I try to be careful because I don't want a copyright strike because you get three of those, you don't have a channel anymore. So we try to be good. <laughs> yeah, Connie, I did see that Photo Play was coming out with that new paper and we will be ordering it. Have you uh, not already ordered it? Well, no, it's not coming out till April. So. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to move this little... This is our first page. Isn't it cute? I love that page. That's still my phone uh, screen. All right, so I want to decide which one I want to use. This one's cute. That's probably the best size, honestly. Then there's this one that's longer. I don't know. I don't mind having two of these because we did a photo album on the trip, and I can always put this in there, too. I think I'm going to use the smaller one because I like the way it fits perfectly in there. Now, I did mine... I printed mine using an app called Print to Size. That's the app I use on my phone, and it just goes straight to my printer, so that's how I did it. Also, I'm going to start working in a second, but also, these little pieces were from our photo album, the Progressive Album class we did on the ship, and so I have an anchor and a tassel, and I thought that'd be cute to add. That's what I was going to tell you, that I think it'll really kind of dress this up and make it feel very cruisy when I add these couple things, and I might add something else cruisy. Even though the little elephants are back there, it was in February, it's cute, I'm just going to play with it. So I think I'm going to cover this with a whole sheet of something. Let me measure. Let me measure. Here we go. Four and a quarter. It's been a while since I made this album. Four and a quarter by two and three quarters. All right, so let me find some paper. What do I want to use? I don't know. I have this to show y'all later because these are on clearance. I'm supposed to show y'all this in the Crafter After Show, but I'm going to use it now. Well, you might as well break them in. I'm going to use it. This is on clearance. We're doing these 40% off. Um, we only have a, a little bit of these left. They were left over from some of the stuff we did on the cruise this year and last year, actually. So let's see what page I want to put behind there to kind of bring the cruisy feel in. And by the way, let me say something to you. Even if you made this and you did that um, elephant page like I did to be very uh, Valentine-y and you don't like it, just cover it up. It's all right. You used it for the month. It was pretty to look at. Put another piece on it, right? Should I do that to show them that I'm brave enough? Put another piece on it. I'm going to do it to show them I'm brave enough. I used that for the month. It was beautiful to look at, that piece of paper. I, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, Marie Kondo. Is that her name? I'm grateful for this paper. It has done its job for me, and now I'm going to cover it up, and I'm going to keep going. I ain't going to worry about it. There you go. I think I am. We'll see. It may not. I may just cover it in places or in different ways. We'll see. All right, so... This is cute. Let's find what page we want to use. That is cute. This, I feel like, is pretty appropriate because we went all over the place. <laughs> Did we not? Yeah. The time zone situation is what made me feel like we went all over the place. So The time zone, it, the times changed, I think, three or four different times on the cruise. It was insane. It was really hard to keep up with. That one's cute, too. That one's cute. That one's cute. They're all so cute. I'm having a hard time deciding. I think I'm going to go with this page. I like this page. Dun, dun, dun. Did they like when I said I'm, I'm grateful for that page and I'm ready to move on from it? See, there's nothing wrong with that. I used it for the month and now we'll turn it into something else. And then when I look at this again, I'll know I did that. All right, then. Five and a quarter by five and a quarter, right? Yep, five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So let's cut that, too. Grab the old trusty Cricut trimmer. Oh, mine's gotten stiff. That trip kind of did it in. This one went on the cruise with us. This one and several others. Oh, I don't want to cut this out. I want to cut the whole side. Five and a quarter. Save that. I might use it by five and a quarter. Melinda said she sang happy birthday to uh, Sandra uh, like the washy washy girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what we need to do. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. Thanks for coming. We love you. <laughs> washy, washy. Cakey, uh, cakey, cakey. That's cute. Yeah, that's what yummy, we should yummy. <laughs> That's so cute. So cute. 
I saw somebody say, is she going to cover up the um, calendar? Yes, because that's February of 2019 and it's past. That was the point of this album was that I could use it as a calendar and then I could also come back and turn it into a calendar, uh, to an album. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm covering it up. I don't think I'm going to glue anything down just yet because I'm kind of I'm wishy-washy today, y'all. I'm real wishy-washy today. I'm just going to be honest. Having one of those days. I've been filming what? since I got here. <laughs> Me too. I filmed a Vinnie's Vittles this morning. We have been filming since we walked in the door. And so I'm a, I'm on five different projects at one time right now. So here we go. If y'all don't know what this calendar is, you need to check it out. And maybe Amanda can put the link in. The link to this calendar, it's... um. It's calendar turn mini album, and I do the I do the page every month. And I thought this I think the live show is the place to do it because I just play, and y'all kind of like to see that. But people who watch the film videos do not like to just watch me play; they want something very specific. So, okay, so where did you get the calendar from? I made it. This is oh, our never, this you is made our, it with never ending calendar. Yeah, this is our large never ending calendar. You got to watch the video. I'm telling you, it's a this is a project worth doing. So four and three quarters by three and one quarter. It really is. It's a great project. I enjoy uh, this calendar. And the best part is I use this calendar and I don't throw it away at the end of the year. I turn it into a photo album. That's what I love about it. Did I say th four, three and one? Amanda said uh, what, we, what we filmed was good. She said she was glad we filmed it. Because you ate it. Because she got to eat it. Mm -hmm. It's good. It was you don't good. know yet. You ain't got to try. It. Uh, uh I already know it's good because it's my favorite things. And Jordan came in here and rubbed it into me. Yeah, it's good. So I've been told it's good. I've been told it's worth trying, and that I need to try it. So that's kind of cute. This reminds me of uh, the map. Uh, what's that song? We can't do that one either. I guess. Uh, <laughs> gotta be careful. All right, let's look for some solid color. I'm gonna go to my scrap bin. So talk about your sales bin. Uh, Healing Montana Nana says Happy Birthday became public domain in 2015. And the owner of the copyright was ordered to pay back $14, uh, one, 14 million dollars in royalties. Well, that's an interesting tidbit. You want me? You won't see me pushing buttons. Yeah, I ain't assigning it. <laughs> uh, Judy, we made the calendar with the never-ending calendar stamp set. That's how you can make that. That's right. Um, I can show. Apparently, Brenda tried it and approved also. Oh, did she? I don't have mine on here, but this is the never-ending calendar set. I have mine mounted to one of my long blocks, and I just leave it there, and I have the words mounted there, too. But these are the months, and uh, this is the stamps that we're talking about. And I have a video showing you how to use this, too. It's over on the Product Parade channel. Cool beans. All right. How wide did I need to cut this? I'm really distracted today. Oh, that's perfect. I must have already cut it. All right, so... Or either you just got real lucky. You th I could have. That literally could have happened. <clears throat> That's probably more likely. All right, I want to do some stuff that the folks in class did, which was so cute. That's why I didn't want to mount anything just yet. I want this to go here, and I want this to go here. But I'm going to do something with my baker's twine, and I want something down here. Let me see if there's... Were there sentiments in that little... Okay, Amanda posted the link for the Never Ending Calendar stamp set. Uh, Tamitha posted the link to the video on how to use it. And the paper pad that we're using is called Go See Explore. That would be cute down there. Adventure. That's got the little cruise ship. Lita said there was a tornado tornado in Anton. Where's Anton? Anton? Where, where is that, Lita? Said they had 18 wheelers being blowed off the road. Well, I can tell you that's an F5. It's a big one. Do you remember when Thomas said, um, our son Thomas has an always F4, been scared of the F5. weather. F4, F5. He's always been scared of the weather. And we have some significant tornadoes come through here. And we've had a lot in our lifetime come through. And um, one day we were watching TV and he's, and it was when the, the tornado that came through that stayed on the ground for how long? Through Tuscaloosa. All the way through the state. It stayed on the ground forever. Do you remember this? It was like 40-something miles it, it stayed on the ground. It was so crazy. so long. And he came in and there were, um, well, that's not useful. I'll figure something out about that. He came in and there were um, semi-trucks being blown around on the screen. And he's like, well, May May, you know what kind of hurricane that, I mean, tornado that was? I was like, no. And he told me, like, he, he always kept up with that stuff because he was scared of the weather. And G's with us today. Hey, G. Hey, what's up, G. bud? We got to chat a little bit yesterday. We don't get to chat as much. It's my fault, but we don't get to chat as much as we used to. But we got to chat yesterday, and I enjoyed it. It was very nice. I think I'm going to cut out one of these little cameras and put it on top of that hole, maybe. Or 
I want to put something on top of it. That hole's kind of in a bad spot. Because if I cut it off, oh no, I know what I can do. Watch. We'll just. Lita said a Anton or Anton is um, on the Texas Panhandle. Oh. Like San Anton? Well, she didn't Not say San Antonio, that. but is it said like that? Like Anton? It's A N T O N. So that's I'm not sure. But anyway, we certainly want to remember those folks in our prayers. Yeah, and that's right. April 27, 2011. Yeah, we just had the... The day after my birthday. And we just had the uh, anniversary of our blizzard. We were talking about that with some visitors. Yeah, the uh, great blizzard of 93. We just went through the anniversary of that. That was a tough one. That was bad. So, I've been quiet on Instagram and stuff at night. Not because of Instagram's issues. But because right now we don't have internet at home. I thought that was a funny story. You don't have to say the company's name, but you can totally tell what well, happened. I don't the other mind night. saying the company's don't name. Don't say their I'm name. I'm proud to say the company's name. We're not going to say the company's name, but oh. I do think it's funny if you tell. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. I came home from uh, work. Um, this was uh, Monday. And uh, Verizon had their incident on the East Coast that caused none of our phones to work. So we were looking forward to at least being able to be on the internet. To only find out that our internet at home was out, was not working. So I called our internet provider, whose name I'm told I cannot mention, and they shared with me that they were pulling out of the state of Alabama in April. And because they were pulling out in April, they no longer had technicians to come fix my internet. But he was happy to give me a discount on my service. And I went, so you're telling me I'm not going to have internet till." the middle of April, um, and you want to give me a discount rate? And I was kind of, you know, I got a little excited. And so um, he came back and said, well, I can either do that or I can just go ahead and disconnect you from our service because we're not sending a technician out. I said, yeah, that would be great. Just go ahead and disconnect me. So I have no internet at home. Then he tells me that if I would take my routers that they provide for me and put them in a garbage bag and set them out on my porch, that a technician will come by and pick them up. And I said, so you're telling me you have a technician that will drive by my house and pick up my uh, modems, but not one that can fix my modem where I can have internet. He said, that is correct, sir. So <laughs> mm, there you go. So we went from everything, we have internet, everything's fine, and one phone call, uh, disconnect. And we're like, wait a minute, we just wanted it fixed, not disconnected. The life we live, y'all. Yep. And okay, this little anchor i'm going to run this um baker's twine through the top and then i have put some sticky tape on the back of this little sheet and put my baker's twine into it and what i'm going to do somebody on the cruise did something very similar to this so i'm just copying folks okay so i'm going to do this and i'm going to feed the other piece of baker's twine through the bottom and that will hold that little anchor in place. And I actually let the baker's twine go through the back again. Do you see that? So I'm sticking it down again. And I'm going to run this down here. <laughs> and stick it down to the other corner. Because what I want to... I know it's a little confusing, but I'll show you. There's a little anchor stuck up there like that, right? And then I'm bringing this to the other corner. And right here, I'm going to add my tassel. So I'm going to stick this in here like this. And I'm just going to let this little tassel kind of dangle down here at the bottom. And then stick this in like this. And then I can trim off this excess. And I might use that in a second. I don't know. We'll see. So then I end up with this. And how cute is that, right? With our little ankle and our little um, tassel. And I think I want to foam mount that. That's why I didn't. I was going to add some more sticky right there. But I think I'm going to foam mount it with some Scotty. So I'm going to put this in here like these. Like a these and these. And then I don't need too much. I'll put it kind of in some funny places here. It is warm in here. Do you want to open that door? We're both no, I'm fanning. Okay. I'm just sweating. It's hot in this room. When we shut that door, it really gets hot in here. All right. And then, oh, <laughs> this side. I'm getting used to this tool. I'm trying how to you, use a new tool. Speaking of that, how do you like it? I love the tool itself. I'm getting used to it. If you're not familiar with our channel, if you haven't been here before, you will see that I'm um, using this tool to help get the backer off of things, which I love. I normally use my pokey tool, but it has been on back order for so long. I had to find something that was another option, and I just stuck my tassel in there. Okay, now I'm just going to mount this to our little 
piece here. I really do like it. It's just different to pick up. I don't look for this because, I, I mean, you can imagine. I've been using that pokey tool for how long? Okay. You, you did have one person refer to your uh, wheel. Yeah. That it's a steering wheel on a boat, not an anchor. Oh, by the way, if you were in my <laughs> class, you will know that I said, I'm going to call this an anchor 37 times. Y'all just know that's what I'm talking about. For some reason, I it's call. I know boat. this is a ship's wheel, <laughs> which I think I've said ship's wheel in this video already, but I will call this an anchor, but that's what I'm talking about. I have this habit of doing that. Yeah, somebody mentioned it. That I have a habit of it? Or someone well, heard yeah. me say it? Charlotte said, I don't think that's an anchor. I think it's that's not. A wheel. It's my habit. I turned away for one second. I'll be right back. And then Amanda reminded everybody on the cruise that she called it I have anchor this the habit. whole time. I wanted to do this and I forgot to. I'm going to do it now. So la, 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 la. let's do this. I'm going to take this little guy. I'm going to lay it under here. I'm going to put some red on my tassel with a marker. I'm going to use something bigger than that. Let me get a piece of scrap paper. Judy, that tool is available in our store at mymaymadeit.com. And I'm sure one of the ladies will post a um, link for you to that. Uh, Kathy said they just issued a tornado watch for Huntsville. So oh, it's coming. You know, we're supposed to have some possible bad weather today, but hopefully it won't be anything too bad. That'll stab you. I just stabbed myself three times. All right. This is this might be a mistake. If it is, let me do it. You don't try it. That's how we do those things right here, right? I'm going to come through and put some red in and see if I can get it kind of variegated. I could do it solid. It might take the ink solid, too. Uh, Trudy, uh, no, Debbie. Um, Brenda's stamp set will, should be back in Monday or Tuesday. They are on order and they're supposed to ship to us no later than Monday the 18th. So hopefully we'll have them at least by Tuesday, if not before that. I think I'm going to try to do it solid. Because do y'all craft like this too? Like, oh, I need a red one. I don't need a white one. Do y'all do that? I do. <laughs> well, you know. I need a red tassel, not a white tassel. So look, let's color it. Wow, G said they're hit, being hit by a storm with 90 mile an hour winds. My goodness. That's crazy. Do you guys get those kinds of storms over there? Is that unusual? All right, what I'm doing is letting the ink kind of flow into the thread and just turning this tassel red instead of white. I think the red will be cuter. Trudy Huntsville is not super close to us. It's probably three and a half hours, we are I would say, north of us. We I are. need to tell people this because you guys, the last time the tornadoes came through, you guys really worried about us. We got so many messages, and we appreciate that so much. But I want you guys to know where we're at because I think that'll help you guys. And remember, tornadoes are not hurricanes. Like if you're not, if you don't have tornadoes in your area, tornadoes are very specific in their path. So there could even be one in our town, and it wouldn't affect us. Like for example, the one that was in Watumka, which is my mama's town, was a very bad tornado and took out a lot of area, but was so far from mother's house. You know, they didn't have any effects of it. But we are in the center, <laughs> center of Alabama. We are in central, central Alabama. Um, so if you can imagine Birmingham and Montgomery, we're in the very middle of that going up 65. That might help you guys. If, you, if you're if you a map person or a weather person, that might help you. If you Look, now we have a red tassel. That was pretty easy. And now, fun, G actually. said they have those storms quite often where he's at. Really? And he said, ironically, this one is called... Uh, Storm Gareth. I know this because I saw Gareth post. I'm sorry. <laughs> he apologized. <laughs> look what I just did. I just rubbed that on, but I'm covering that up anyway. But look, now I have a red tassel. That's really cute. I like it better anyway. All right. I want to pop this up as well down here on the bottom. Terrence says, see. yes, he always does, but he never thought about coloring one. It, that It's something to do, right? Something a little different. I think I'm going to pop this up like that. I'm going to use these wow. little guys. Uh, our son Jared is in the group today. Hi, Jay Red. He said geography is important. <laughs> <laughs> well, your mother's not the one to teach that, and I'm sure you're aware of that. <laughs> if there's some things his mom shouldn't teach, it's everything but crafting. <laughs> we all yeah. agree with that. <laughs> That's funny. Um, geography. You would not think you get a geography lesson whenever you would. Yeah, but you know, I discovered from that last bout, a lot of people don't realize... Thank goodness a lot of people don't deal with hurricane, uh, hurricanes, with um, tornadoes like we do. Thank goodness about that. Because we deal with them around here. Uh, Joanne, uh, I don't know if you're saying that we may be closer to you than you thought, but we are right off of 65, um, almost directly between Montgomery and Birmingham, almost right in the middle. So that kind of tells you where we're at. I keep have this song in my head. I keep wanting to sing it, but I'm trying to restrain myself. 
This is cute. I mean, if I say so myself. <laughs> and I do. Uh, Rhonda, right, the story is located in Verbena, Alabama. The big, big city of Verbena, Alabama. We the have Don't blink or you miss it, city. We have one caution light. And at that caution light, there's my mom made it, the post office, and Dollar General. So don't blink. Don't blink. You'll miss it. All right. I'm going to mount that directly down. But first, I want to mark for my holes. Um, let's see. I'm going to line this up like this. And then I'm going to flip this over and mark them from the back side. Pencil. Here it is. All right. Joey and I went to school with a guy whose last name was Higginbotham at Sanford. His name was Marty. You might know him or be related to him. I almost panicked and thought I left this on the in our cruise luggage, but it's in here, so we're good. I couldn't find my hole punch. All right, so marking those holes lets me go, well, hmm. <laughs> They're gone. There they are. They were 100% gone for a minute. You know, if you put your glasses on, you might be able to see them. No, not up close. I got I got what my doctor affectionately calls over 40 eyes, which means no more seeing up close without assistance. That's what she says. All right, there's that. Now I know where I can glue this down and still be able to put it back into my album. Y'all, that's really cute. I really like this page. Um, I need to put something on it that says cruise. I need to do that. I've got an idea for that too. Have I got time? I think I do. I didn't put my I didn't put my stopper topper back in. Who didn't tell me? Who's in trouble? Which one of y'all? I'm sure it's me. Who actually told me to? Somebody probably did and you didn't see it. I bet you they did. Let me get this working again. Uh, right. The Birmingham Zoo is off of um, Valley Avenue. So that's going to be over in Homewood. Probably about an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes. All right. That's precious. You have to admit that's precious. All right. I want to put some wording on it. I got an ID. Oh, an ID. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. We're going to try. An ID. That always scares me when you come up with an ID. Okay. Mm, I shouldn't use these because I don't have these in store. And everybody's, everybody's going to want these. I don't have these. But I do have something similar. We'll use the ones I have. So you guys can get them if you want them. All right. We have those coming back, but right now I don't have them. Okay. So I'm going to use the clickable letters, and I might need two for this. We're going to see. So I think it will be cute if we do Cruising with May May. We did hashtag Cruising with May May. That was our hashtag. So let's just see if we can do our own stamped piece. Here's an A. Here's an R. Okay, we're really going to have to have a conversation because this is going to take me a second. So, we need a topic. Well, do you want to talk about art glitter glue? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. I mean, that's fine. We we oh, almost glitter. have the clearance from art glitter glue to start shipping again. Um, as a matter of fact, we have a shipment coming from them to us that hopefully will be here tomorrow. We do have a good bit of art glitter glue in stock. Um, and if you will be on the honor system and not order it if the temperature at night is below 40 degrees at your house then we may be able to make it go back live where you can just order it on the website as before and uh, we talked about doing that for tomorrow so that soon yes are yes, you sure yes. well again some parts of the country still are in freezing but the majority of the company is country is out of that uh type weather so um she gave us the go-ahead. If we had the honesty. Yeah, because, I mean, if if you order it and it's below 40 degrees at your house, when it comes in, it's going to be damaged. So just it don't order no it. It does you no good it to order it. It does you no good to order it. And they won't replace it. And we won't uh -huh. either because they won't replace it. So Yeah, like Amanda said, please use discretion when ordering because we are not responsible for it if it freezes. So uh, we try not to ship it if the temperatures are bad. But if I'm going to open it back up on the website for you to be able to order it, then don't order it if the temperature is below 40 at night at your house. And not just at your house. Below 40 at night between us. And what we usually do well, is we go true. look at a map. And if you're not sure, call us. If you want to be safe, give us a call. Amber is a pro at that. But um, 
I think we're going to make it go live again tomorrow. So this is like Lego. Carol, this paper is a clearance paper that you have to call in to order. We don't have it online. So uh, if you'll give the store a call, um, Amber will be happy to order it for you. If they might want to post the number in the chat. Okay, I'm digging into this one. Yeah, because, you know, just like uh, Steve said, it's six, Stevie said, it's 66 in Michigan today, but it'll be 40 tomorrow. So you just pay attention to that. And if it's going to be 40 degrees, just wait a couple of days. Because, you know, it, with the way the weather is these days, it changes every other day. Because it's supposed to be, you know, in the 70s here today. And then this weekend, it's supposed to drop into the 30s. So, you know, we can't ship it if it's below 40 degrees. So just kind of pay attention to that and understand that if if you order it and we say, mm, it's going to be a little bit, just have to be patient with us. Um, Naoka, I don't really know when that's going to be in. It's been on order for us, the Faded Jeans Oxide Spray. It has been on order for a while. Uh, so as soon as our distributor gets it, they will send it out to us. There might be an update on that. Amanda might have an update. Okay. Um, come on. One more why. I have two sets. I should have another why. And then I can have all of this done. One more why. And, and speaking of art glitter glue, I also found out that you don't need to leave it in the sunlight. Because if it gets too hot, it'll change colors on you. So uh, don't leave it sitting out in the sun because that's bad for it too. Apparently it's very sensitive to temperatures. Did I say temperature is funny? No. Did I laugh? I didn't laugh. No, but I just was wondering. I'm trying to find one more why. How can I not have one more why? Okay. Cover I'll your glue. To... Oh, gosh. Thank you. You need to be in the habit of just saying that. I just need one more why. Kelly, the letters she's using now are the Christopher uh, Brutus Monroe's uh, clickable letters. They're out of stock, but they're on order. So Are they? Yes. Didn't know they're out of stock. I wouldn't have done that to you. Well, we have some up front, but not many. Well, when you call in for your glue, if you want to pick some up, grab them. Let me see how I want to line this up. I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to do... Well, I'm going to put a little... Dunk. All right, cruise it. And i got to put a Y right here, so I'll put a little... Dunk right there. If I put a G, it'll line up. <laughs> it'll look righter. Rider, it'll look rider, yes. See, because I got to put a Y right here and then look rider, and I'm going to stamp that down onto something. Let's see what you guys just really got to come along for the ride. <laughs> I was not prepped for this, but that's fun sometimes, right? Well, you said you had an ID, I had an ID. All right, I love for those these. of you that aren't from the south. That means she had an idea, a brilliant ID. My grandma used to say idea with an R. I don't think that one's in good. Well, thank you, Michelle. Amber does do a wonderful job, and we appreciate how hard she works at making sure that you guys get what you need. I'm being real careful not to rock this. Uh, Amanda, she was asking about the um, the spray from um, Oxide Spray, the, the Blue Jean one. I forgot the name of it now, just off the top of my head. Faded Jeans. Distress Oxide Spray. That's what she was asking. She said you might have an update on. You don't have to do that just with one and stick it down, but it works. I just took the one. You could line it back up again, or you could do cruising with and then come back and do May May if it was easier for you to line up, but I just took a chance. I took a chance. Okay. Who knows where that's from? I'm sure somebody will know. I took a chance. All right. Trimming this up on my trimmer. Amanda Borland said, someone's trampoline is in my neighbor's yard. <gasps> oh, no. It's so bad. So bad. Uh, Eva, the pins, you have to use a stainless steel pin. Um, if you use anything besides a stainless steel pin, it will rust. So just make sure you're using a stainless steel pin. I'm pulling out a bunch of stuff today. Pulling out all the stops. Which I'm going to be doing a lot because I'm going to be doing the ATCs. And so that, you're going to see me do this a lot. Talk about yourself. Well, uh, I can't find anything today. Took a chance. I can't find anything. Abba. 
No, that's not it. Well, they had a song called Take did. a Chance. That's not what I, they did, but that's not me. I can't find anything today. Where is everything? Did someone steal my everything? Did someone, someone steal everything in my craft room? <laughs> you know that it's your craft room, and nobody crafts in here oh, but you. I just overlooked it. My bad, found so. it. <laughs> my bad, no one stole it. Sorry. Here we go. <clears throat> it was just me. Not unusual. All right. Just going to ink this up a little bit around the edges so it's not stark white. And I might even go up in the middle a little bit. Just kind of rub that around. Do you have plans for your next ATC video? Yeah. If you watch Tuesday's video, you will have heard about our ATC challenge. So go back and watch that video if you haven't. That explains the March Motivation ATCs. And I will be doing a video a day next week of ATCs. Wow. Starting Monday. We do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday we do live shows like we normally do. Friday there'll be another ATC. And then Saturday we'll do something else. But next week you'll get a lot of ATCs. Amanda Look at that. said she straightened up your room for you, but she did not touch anything that you've been missing so well, far. Well, you didn't steal that, so we're okay, because I did find it. We're all right. All right, Glue. I left you sitting there a long time. Come on. Come through for me. Come through for me, Glue. You're not doing it. You're not coming through. All right. I left that sitting there a really long time that time. This is how you uh, bend your fine metal. This is how you bend your stopper toppers. By, by using it, it for out. this. Yeah, by not by not doing it like you're supposed to do it. Uh, even if it's stainless, I don't really know because it should not rust if it is a stainless steel pen. Stainless in and of itself shouldn't rust. So. Now, I've heard some people tell me they bought pens that said they were stainless that weren't stainless. Like they've gotten them home and they didn't, work, they didn't act like a stainless steel. I just have to rub this one back out. All right. Clean this off, put this in, la, 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 la. Look, how cute is that? I like it. Did I spell cruising right? Oh, no. Spell cruising. How did you spell it? Spell it. Um, Nobody yelled at me. C-R. Okay. U-I, right? That's what I did. Nobody yelled at me. Somebody would have said, you did it wrong, man. You did it wrong. All right. More glue. More glue. Somebody would have said, surely. You guys look out for me better than that. Well, once it's done, it's done, so. Well, but I could have switched it. I made the stamp. They would have told me. All right, I'm just going to cover up what I had done for February. No big deal, because I want this to be my album. And I want it to look like I want it to look. Just make sure I cover that up. And then no one's the wiser. No one will ever know. Hmm. Not people watching this video. No one will ever know that I did that. How cute, right? And then I can do my journal sheet on the back. Let's put this in. Let's bring it. Nancy said you did spell it correctly. So. Okay, thank you. Look, hello, people. I straightened it out and then didn't put it back in. All right, there we go. So here's our album. And then this is February. I love it. I love it so much. I'm putting it in. It's official. All I have to do is go back and do my journaling. And you can see I did my journaling on the um, January one. I'll come back and do February so you guys don't have to wait on that. But you see. So now here's the beginning of our album. Here's our January. Which in January, I just used the background I had and went ahead and used it. It actually worked perfect for the basketball because it was wood, thing, wood grain. Here's February. This is going to be so cool at the end of the year to go back and see a picture from every month in this album. Won't it be cool? I think it will be. And um, then I'll do my journaling and then I'll do March here. I'm not sure I'm going to say your name right. Latir, L-A-T-I-R, maybe. I don't know if I said it right. But if your art glitter glue is seeping out, loosen the top. You got it too tight. It just means that you created usually, a little vacuum in there. Usually will help. Yep. Usually there's a vacuum. If you loosen it up, let some air get in there. It'll be all right. I glued that down. I'm going to sit that to the side. I want that tassel to kind of stay in place. So I just put a little glue for the tassel. And then I can flip this over and I can start March. Let me see if I can just hold it like that. There we go. So then I can start March and keep using my calendar. And when I'm done with all of the months and filling in a picture for every month, I will have a full mini album at the end of the year. A snapshot of my year. Isn't that? I love this album. I really do too. It's cool. I love it. I haven't done my cover yet. I'm going to wait. I'm probably going to wait till 
probably Christmas to do my cover because I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Did but you use the one and a half inch rings? I did use the one and a half inch because I think it worked better on this one. All right, so let's get it stood up for March. Let's hope my tassel stays. So here's what you do. I have a little magnet back here, and it goes inside like this, and it magnets shut on the bottom. See that? And then it stands up. So now I can go, there's my March calendar, and I'll use it for the whole month. And then I will put a picture in March, flip it over, and by the time it's over with, I'll have a whole album. Love it. Did you hear that? I think it's the dumpster. Is it the day for the dumpster? Well, it sounded like the dumpster. Let's hope that's what it was. We heard a noise outside, so maybe they're emptying it. So there's February all done. I love that. Now we can go to the Crafter After Show where we can talk about anything we want to talk about. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, so let me bring this back over so you can take a look at it and see the finished product on what? that page. So... If you want to see this, I know they're going to see that in the Crafter After Show. Are they going to freak out? Oh, Naomi said there's a tornado warning in Muscle Shoals. That's getting close, so we better get to no, the Crafter After Show and get over. Not close. No, but it's but cl much closer than. Is still bad. So take cover if you're in Muscle Shoals and you're watching me. Take cover. This here. Um, Oh, if you want to see how to make this album, I was trying to think what I was going to say. I have a full video on this, and I think we linked it in the um, comments here, but we'll come back and make sure we put it into the description. Amanda, please make a note for me to put it in the description of this video. And anything else of the links, we need to kind of just put those in the description for everybody, too. All right, let's head to the Crafter After Show. And if you're new here and you've never been to Crafter After, that's where I can talk about anything I want. Plus, we're going to show you some things that you guys have sent in, some new product and stuff that's in the store. And I got something really super sparkly and exciting. So you don't want to miss it. All right. So we're going to head out of here and we will see you guys back in the Crafter After Show. Talk to you again in a few minutes. Bye, guys. Bye.